I love the picture in, uh, in this session where Moses is at the foot of this mountain. And as he's about to approach God, God just explained, look, you don't just come into my presence and keep the people away. Like there's just this sense of I'm approaching someone who is holy. And that word holy, and make sure they understand that means set apart. It means distinct. It means he's, he's beyond us. He's not like us. A lot of times mm -hmm. we have this picture of God and we treat him like common, yes. like, yes. God, let me tell you what, you know, it's like, no, talking to God isn't like talking mm -hmm. to you. That's right. We're talking about a different being. And so it's a good time to get into that with your disciples. And that's so key because there's this tendency, and, and, and it's even based in Scripture in some ways, like he, we're friends of God. Yeah, and yeah. so, but that doesn't mean we talk with God like we do our friends. Yeah. And so even as you're praying with the people you're discipling uh, and talking about God, I like to permeate and teach them, model for them, what it means to just not lose sight of the holiness of God, when, to, to not get into a routine where prayer even becomes casual and rote yeah. and, okay, oh, all right, dear God, this, this, yeah. this. No, I like to really stop. This is one of the things I really appreciate about you that you've even helped me in. Just when we, when we pray together, it's, hey, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're talking to the holy God of the universe mm -hmm. who years ago people stayed far away from yeah. that God has by his grace made a way for us to come to him but that doesn't diminish his yeah. holiness. I mean he, he wants us to come with confidence yeah. you know Hebrews tells us to sure. approach that throne with confidence but that doesn't mean arrogance yes. and 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 That's we're approaching good. the most holy place it says you, you know mm -hmm. you're, you're still going into that holy of holies so it isn't just this casual I mean I cringe when people go hey big guy da, da, da. Yeah. I'm like yeah. Uh, you, you know, and, and I mean, I, I understand friendship, relationship, yeah. intimacy. It's beautiful. That's what we're created for. But that yeah. doesn't, that's not separate from yeah. reverence and yes. holiness and going, okay, I'm, I'm our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, holy be your name. That's yeah. how Jesus taught us to yeah. pray. That's good. You know, the other key thing in this lesson is tying this picture of priesthood in the mm -hmm. Old Testament mm -hmm. with disciple making. And so the priest's responsibility mm -hmm. was to represent, to kind of be the go-between yeah. in a sense, between a holy God and sinful people. And so he would, he would represent sinful people before a holy God, and then in a sense represent that holy God before sinful people. Yeah. And there's, there's a picture there that's really rich that I would encourage you to help think through with the person or people you're discipling, to think through, all right, like we're a kingdom of priests. So on one level, we have access to God. So that's amazing mm -hmm. in and of itself. But then we are his representatives in the world around mm -hmm. us. And, and God has commissioned us to, to show what his life looks like in action. Again, we're not going to be perfect in that, but we are his ambassadors in a sinful yeah. world. And at the same time, just like Moses, we yeah. see him at different places standing in the gap on behalf of the Israelites. We're standing in the gap for people yeah. who don't know Christ. We're praying, God, reveal your grace and your glory to them. Draw them to yourself. And okay, then that leads us to go and yeah. tell them about, about Christ and what he's done and, and we're pleading for their salvation. There's, yeah. a, there's a, a powerful picture there. When it yeah, because salvation. Moses had that interaction with God and he understood what God wanted in his command and then he brought it to the people. And so you've got to get your disciple mm -hmm. to understand, okay, do you see that? You're, you're, you're yeah, that priest now. Like you are starting to understand the commands of God. So your job now is to go to the people mm -hmm. as a priest, the people in your life who don't know God yet, don't know his law, don't have a relationship mm -hmm. with him. Moses comes down from that mountain. He goes, I spoke to God. This is what he says we got to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I've got a relationship with God. And, you know, same New Testament, you know, yes. John says, oh, this would make my joy complete as yes. if you could have fellowship yeah, with us too. Yeah. It's that, get That's that good. attitude That's in their good. mind. So it's like, okay, now that I've been teaching you, you've got to do that with your friends. You got to pass on this relationship. Mm -hmm. You've got to stand in that gap. And this is why you're making disciples.